So this week on The Andrew Clavin Show, which you can get wherever you get your podcast. I thought what would really be nice was that if instead of uh, indicting Trump and the media celebrating, we could indict the media and Trump could celebrate. And in that spirit, I want to take a look back, uh, to, uh, walk down memory lane to remember why we love Donald Trump. And most of it is because of his kicking the media. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN.com. Go to ExpressVPN.com slash Andrew Clavin Show today and get three months free on a one-year package. So let's take a look at some of Donald Trump's clashes with the press, which I think will <laughs> amuse you and remind you of what it was about this guy we liked and what it is about the media we despise. Your question? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. No. She's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. (laughs) I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, God, I missed that. Now, you know, that would have been a little funnier if he had a flamethrower. But still, that was close, close enough. Let's watch another one. Do you expect Matt Whitaker to be involved in the Russia probe? Do you want him to... It's up to him. Do you want him to rein in Robert Mueller? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is so, what is so hilarious is that, is that the press, the media literally cannot understand why we, we are delighted by that because it's never occurred to them to think. They have a, a trusting rating. I think about uh, seven people in the country trust the media. They're Democrats uh, and they never go outside and they just watch TV and they think the media is telling everything accurately. The rest of us hate them. And so Donald Trump really does, you know, there's a Donald Trump who does some things that I don't like uh, that most of us uh, may not agree with. Uh, but there's the Donald Trump that is the voice of the people. When he is talking to the press, he is the voice of the people. Let's watch another. Go take a look at it. The look, research I'm says the crime, is, the crime is that does not match yeah, what you're saying. The research, research, the Pew Research, which is okay. independent, says... Don't be naive. You're a very naive person. <laughs> the Pew you're Research a- says that there are for... Immigrants on the whole create are. Come on, try getting it out. <laughs> try getting it out. I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, man, you really, you forget, you know, when he's when he's out of the limelight, you just forget what was so funny about him. And uh, he was, I have to say, <laughs> he was the funniest president since Abraham Lincoln. You tub on looking motherfucker. What? 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 And nowhere as funny as when he was taking on this uh, group of uh, semi-criminals who call themselves the media. Let's watch another one. Nearly 200 dead. 14,000 who are sick, millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. This is, I could watch this stuff. Is like, uh, it's like smoking dope. It's like, <laughs> just, it makes you feel great. All right, let's, another one. I've said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday oh, Americans God. are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Why are you saying that to me specifically? It's time to do, 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 do. I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty Please question. Please go ahead. You should have done that more often with these people. I just, you know, what was so great about this is the woman plays the race card on him when he's obviously talking about the fact that China, this thing was created in China. With, you know, to be fair, with some help from Anthony Fauci, you know, he gives the funding. We don't want to leave Anthony Fauci. I'll not give him credit for developing this disease that kills so many people. They're really criticizing science because I represent science. But it was a Chinese thing. And so when she says, she says, why is it, why is it a global competition? What a stupid question. What a stupid question that is. It's just a, this kind of garbage gotcha question. And it's all they did with him. And when you watch that, and then you watch a, the, if you go back and look at them asking questions of Barack Obama, what charms you about being our president, Mr. Obama? And then you watch them talking to uh, Joe Biden, where they mouth the words so he can have the answer. Say now that the thing is, you know. 
it's just it's just amazing, amazing the way they treated him, and they got everything from him they deserved. They didn't get enough of what they deserved. I mean, I wish he had really given it to them even more. Now, if you're not the president of the United States, you probably don't want your personal business to become everyone's business, so you need to do what I do and use Express. VPN. Without ExpressVPN, every site you visit can be logged by the admin of that network. That's still true even when you're in incognito mode. Your home internet provider can also see and record your browsing data. In the US, they're legally allowed to sell that data to advertisers. ExpressVPN is an app that encrypts all of your network data and reroutes it through a network of secure servers so that your private online activity stays private. ExpressVPN works on all your devices, and it's super easy to use. The app literally has one button. You tap it to connect, and your browsing activity is secure. So protect yourself. With the VPN I trust, use my link, expressvpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show today and get three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show. expressvpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show. Your campaign had an ad showing migrants climbing over walls and well, so that's on. True. It, poured, it but they it, weren't actors. They're not going to be doing they that. They weren't actors. They're hundreds and hundreds of miles you know away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let me would be ask, much better. If I, if I may okay, ask one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I may, if I may Peter, ask one other question, are you worried? That's enough. That's Mr. enough. Mr. President, I, that's well, enough. I tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude. Terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Go ahead. In, in, Go in ahead, Jim, Peter. Go in, ahead. In Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts. Well, I'm not like a big fan of yours either. So. <laughs> <laughs> Over the course okay, of the just sit down, please. Well, when you when you report fake news, no, when you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. <laughs> You know, he got that wrong, Trump. I got to be honest. He said he said that Jim Acosta was a rude, terrible person. He shouldn't be working at CNN. What kind of person is going to work at CNN if not a rude, terrible person? The place would be empty. You know? <laughs> Nobody there. This I got to say, this is a beautiful walk down memory lane. This is as much fun as you can have watching the president of the United States. Somebody a long time ago, a, a, a real political insider, a really good observation uh, ob observer of politics, said to me, Republicans will never win until they understand that they're running against the media. They're not running against the Democrats because the Democrats mess up everything they touch. They ruin everything they touch. Everything they touch turns it. to crap. Soiled it. Soiled it. Right. So anybody can can beat them if if they run against the media because the media creates not just a false narrative, but also an atmosphere, a false atmosphere in which everything every day is a tragedy and a crisis with a Republican president so that when a real tragedy or a real crisis comes along, They can say, see, look, it's it's just been like this the whole time. And they do it very well. And it's very hard to resist because it's an atmosphere. Uh, it's an emotional atmosphere. It's not a, a specific thing that you can pick on. But it was it really was wonderful. I really remember fondly watching Trump take these people uh, to pieces. And I hope other Republicans have learned the knack because the media needs uh, to be disrespected because they, they are not respectable people and they don't do a respectable job. People aren't buying it, CNN, you dumb bastards. Is there, are there any more? I'll watch them forever. Another one. Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you stay? Can, Quiet. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you stay categorically? Ask a question. Don't Mr. be rude. Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be You're rude. attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give I'm us a question? Give you a I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorically? You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. Can you <laughs> You know, people forget that fake news was a left-wing idea. I've got to come over and see the fake news. Let's go. Uh, it came out of a, one of the Soros sites uh, until Trump just took it over and threw it back in their face as they deserved. Why not sign the other bills, though, so some of these workers can get paid, the government you get more? You think I should do that? Yeah, you, 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 no, no, you, do you think I should do that, well, John? I mean, it's not for me you to say that. I want your one-sided reporting. Do you think I should do that? It's, it's, hey, John, <laughs> it's no, not seriously, my John, do you think I should just sign? Well, the, the argument no, no, has been me, made that me. you can sign these bills that have nothing to do with John, border security. You think I should just sign? Uh, the government can so start working. So you would do that if you were in my position. You'd do that. I, I'm not in your position. I'm asking you if you, that's something you I'm would do. I'm asking you, would you do that if you were in my position? I, 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 if I'm, you would do that, you should never be in this position. <laughs>
You know what they should do? They should take these, string them together, make every single Republican candidate for public office watch this as, a, as a, an absolutely instructional video. I always said this, even when I was criticizing Trump for things, even now when I criticize him for things, I always said the one thing that he got 100% right, not 95, not 98, not 72, one thing he got 100% right is the press, the media in this country is corrupt trash. And this is, it's a delight. Every Republican should watch a, a, a reel of Trump taking on the press. All right, we can't always beat up on the press because our arms just get tired. But if you want more great content, like and subscribe, and subscribe to The Andrew Clavin Show wherever you get your podcast.